righty ho. We're gonna try these out, see what happens. Do some cribbing here. Had just had a train go by. Go up here and uh, see if we can get something done. I got a little bit done this morning here already. And uh, we drunk the walk up, rock up into the empty cribs, run the train through. Uh, I've got uh, probably an hour to work here. We're uh, it's, uh, working hot rail today, live rail, live track. So I'll show you how I do this. I got build me a bench as I'm going along here. It's uh Okay, that was my last one. be a little careful here I don't have a lot of room to work so say I'm building me a bench as I go up along here as I go along come in, train. Come in, Tom. Red track behind you buddy okay Uh, 
40 some years of coal finds dumping out there and it's it's like seals it seals the ties and the water doesn't just can't get out from underneath the ties come on baby doll there you go Coal finds in itself is really, uh, really not that bad in the track if it never rained. That's the problem when it rains. And that stuff, the vines just hold that water in there. The water won't come out. So, especially in this, uh, ah, the pop can in there. Wonder how in the world that pop can got in there. Especially underneath, right underneath the rail. I got my seat belt on in case I slide off of this bench. I don't have a lot of room on that outside. Video 
I made, I only I had it on my phone, and I was only uh, had to keep switching the phone from hand to hand. You can't see that, either, so you just kind of like gotta get a. After you do it so many times, you get a feel for where the base of the outside base of the rail is. kind of like hold the uh, bottom of the bucket down. See, I'm holding the bucket and that uh, makes a nice channel for that water to run out of there.
have a little bit more anchors on this curve, but it's not bad. Need more people, need more help. That would be the time to put them in. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one here. And get off. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the show. We'll see how this works out. I've only got about 45 minutes to work out. Maybe an hour to work here this morning and then we'll have to get it all filled in. I gotta get this, that's the problem with running a, uh, a train. I gotta have this track back in service so he can run another trip. We've got a lot of cold prep night this morning. They're doing running real well. So I can't hold the train up. No, kinda, but you can have that. That coal pays the bills. Another thing I uh, want to tell you, you know, obviously if, if, if we had the time, the track time, undercutting would be the way to go, but we just don't have the track time to do that. So, really our only option we got for getting rid of this stuff right now but uh, what's going to happen is I will come back and when I tamp I'm going to pick this curve up probably about uh, three or three or so inches from where it is now so that's going to that's going to put a lot of good uh, good rock underneath these guys where it belongs. So it's a process, it takes time, but it's, uh, that's what we do out here. Do what we can do with what we're given and the time we have allotted, that's all we can do. All righty. Hey, you get to see me uh, grip ties. See, and then as I go on further on up the track here, what I'll do is I'll turn around and uh, sweep this out like this. That'll clean them out. All right? Clean them out like that. I'd like to be a little bit further away, but I wanted to show you this before I got off. And uh, you see this little bit that's left in there. When I'm coming back through before he fills it in, I'll I'll pull that out, get straight uh, perpendicular to the rail, and just uh, clean that up. All righty. Thank you for watching, and have a really good day.